I'm here to talk about doing a VLOOKUP in the Mac Excel 2016. What it is, we have different prizes in here. We're trying to determine the amount here. We're doing a VLOOKUP in this set of range here, this data set. We don't include the captions. So what it is, we want to know what the dollar prize the students or the recipients will earn based on the color of their medal. So what we're going to do, we're going to click in formulas. I'm going to go into lookup and reference, VLOOKUP. You get this box over here. So what it is, this is where the result will appear. We click inside the silver here. I want to know, I should be in here first. So I click inside, start again. I'm in that cell, VLOOKUP. You got that box there. I click inside the silver. I want to go into the table array. Now I'm going to highlight this data here. The command T on the Mac will work in many cases. I'm going to do this right now. It's not showing it here, but what I could do here, I'm just going to go and literally type in the dollar signs here. It depends on your version, and if you type it, it does work. So it's not as cumbersome as what I'm doing. This is a very obvious example, because if we don't lock it in, we're going to lose the data, and it's going to copy it wrong. So we want to know the column number it's in. I click inside here. It's in the second column, column one, column two. So I just type in a number two. And you don't always need this, but you could always put in false in here if you have incorrect data. It needs quotes around it, okay? And then I say done. I've got $55. I pull it down. So it's showing the correct amounts here. But if I type in 10 here, it's going to say NA. I'm just going to do an undo. Uh, so that is the essence of the value of doing the V lookup. I'm just going to get rid of the false here. I'm going to pull it down. Black cross here. If I type in 10. See how it's giving me 55. You want to have that false in there. And if I put in the correct entry amount, we've got the $55.